She's the first person to ever swim across Georgia Strait from Nanaimo to Seashell and back. And now Jillian Yonita is tackling the most ambitious open water fundraiser yet, a grueling 110-kilometer swim from Greater Victoria to Vancouver. And as Tess Van Stratton tells us in this week's Vital People, it's to raise money for Canuck Place. How is it? <laughs> it's actually not that bad. Jillian Yonita loves to swim. In the water, I feel really free and unencumbered. On land, I always have felt clumsy and uh, tripping over myself. Jill doesn't have full use of her leg and suffers from a degenerative disc disease. But in the water, she's a fish doing long distance open water swims to raise money for charity. I used to be on the Canadian free diving team for six years. And when I retired from that, I missed being in the ocean. And I had started doing small little swims and I just gradually built it out. Go Jill! In 2017, Jill swam from Port Angeles to Victoria in a punishing test that took 10 hours. Jill then did a grueling 26-hour, 76-kilometer swim in 2018 across Georgia Strait to raise money for Canuck Place Children's Hospice. She went from Nanaimo to Seashelt and back, becoming the first person ever to do so. But Jill's most ambitious swim yet is coming up August 9th from Brentwood Bay to Vancouver, and it will once again raise money for Connect Place. This one's going to be the most challenging for me. I've never done a distance this far before. This one's going to be about 110 kilometers, but it's going to be really challenging navigating the passages that we're going to be swimming through to get over to Vancouver, and nobody's actually done this swim before, so this will be the first. Jill says she's most concerned about sleep deprivation. The non-stop swim is expected to take 50 to 60 hours, but the reason she's doing it will help keep her going. I am doing this swim actually in memory of my young cousin that passed away two years ago, and he wasn't part of Connect Place, but I wish there had been something like Connect Place available for him at the time. So this is extra special this year for me. By the time you hear the words Connect Place, um, you've already not the worst news you could ever get. Canuck Place provides compassionate pediatric palliative care to around 900 children and their families from BC and the Yukon. Although we do receive some government funding, a lot of the extra, what people call the magic of Canuck Place, like the little sprinkles, <laughs> everything that makes the experience special, that's really through donation. As Jill turns 50 this year, this inspiring islander is hoping to raise $50,000 doing a swim distance that's more than double her age. Well, I just want to inspire people. I've had over 22 surgeries and I've had a lot of setbacks and medical challenges. And um, this just kind of, uh, how do I say it, it um, makes me just want to overcome these obstacles and keep trying to the best of my ability and push myself to see how far I can go. Vital People, brought to you by the Victoria Foundation. Connecting people who care with causes that matter.